The previous examples I showed had a phase shift of zero. So now the next few examples we'll look at are ones where the phase shift is not going to be zero in this case. If you see a number that comes after the x, then you know that the phase shift is not going to be zero. Also, I can tell there's a number in front of the x that's not a one, so that tells me that my period is not just going to be two pi. So this one I have both these are going to be changing compared to the examples I did before. Now your amplitude formula is still the same. You're still going to do the absolute value of 3 is going to be 3. That's going to be it for that one. Your period is 2 pi divided by the number in front of the x. For this example, your period is going to be 2 pi divided by 3 because that's the number in front of the x. Your phase shift is the opposite sign of this number divided by the number in front of the x. So in this case, because it's a minus sign there, I need to take the opposite sign of that. I'm going to do positive pi over 2. I want to divide that by the number in front of the x. So I have pi over 2 divided by 3. If I simplify that, I get pi over 6. So pi over 6 is going to be my phase shift. Now, in order to get the numbers that are on the, uh, on the graph itself, I have to use the quarter point. But let's take a look, first of all, at what we have so far. My phase shift is pi over 6. What that means is that the graph itself is going to start there. So instead of starting at 0, it got shifted to the right. So now this is where my new graph begins, right here at pi over 6. From that point, I want to find the other uh, key points that I have here. So here's the first one. Your phase shift will always be the first one on your graph. But i got to find the other ones. I need to find out how far it is from here to here. So I need the, this point right here is your quarter point. So up here I'm going to find my QP, my quarter point. That's going to be period, which is 2 pi over 3. I always want to divide my period by 4 when you find your quarter points. If you flip this, you get 2 pi over 3 times 1 fourth, and you get 2 pi over 12, which is the same thing as pi over 6. So in this case, pi over 6 would be your quarter point as well. Now it's coincidence that the quarter point is the same as the phase shift. That's not always going to happen that way. So if I want to find out how to get from here to here, what I need to do is I'm starting with my phase shift, pi over 6, and I want to add my quarter point to it. So if I take pi over 6 and add pi over 6 to it, that gives me 2 pi over 6. That's this one right here. I want to keep doing that. I want to add another pi over 6 to get the next point over here. So 2 pi over 6, I know that can be reduced. However, I'm keeping it uh, with the 6 on the bottom because that way it makes it easier. It's easier to add these because all of these have common denominators. If I reduce this one, then I would have to do common denominators again down there. So I'm keeping them all with a 6. We can always reduce on this later if we need to. Otherwise, it's actually okay to leave your answer like that. So 3 pi over 6 is the next one. If you already can see the pattern, I have 1, 2, 3, that means this is going to be 4 pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 to finish that one out. I don't even have to write the rest of them out because I already see what the pattern is. I'm just adding a pi over 6 all the way across here. These are going to be my new key points. If I take 5 pi over 6 and subtract pi over 6 from it, I get 4 pi over 6. And 4 pi over 6 happens to be my period, which is 2 pi over 3. So that does work out. You should always do that check. To make, that will tell you if you did these key points correctly. If you take the last one minus the first one, that should always give you your period. Now that the key points are complete, I'm ready to draw in the graph. This is a cosine graph. Now before I mention that your cosine graph has to start at the amplitude. However, the amplitude will not start here at this point. Now it's, it's, it's at 3, but the graph doesn't begin at 0. It actually begins here at pi over 6. So I want to start my graph actually right there. So at pi over 6 I'll be at the amplitude. Not, not over here. It got shifted over to the right, that's why I started at that point. The next point is going to drop down to the x-axis. So it goes there. Then I'll go down to negative 3, back up to the x-axis, and back up again to the 5 pi over 6. So your graph itself now is going to look like this. So again, we're just drawing one cycle. And the cycle itself, that normally would start here, got moved over to the right by the amount of pi over 6.